What's up guys, welcome to Little Italy San Diego. In this episode, we're gonna be showing you where to eat, drink, and have fun in one of San Diego's coolest neighborhoods. So Little Italy has gone through a lot of transformations over the years, so we're gonna start off by meeting with some of the original Italian community, and then show you guys some of the innovators in the craft beer and style world, before finishing up meeting Javier Placencia, one of Tijuana's groundbreaking chefs, who's bringing up some new flavor from across the board. Let's hit it. All right guys, so we're starting off here on India Street. India Street is the uh, main artery of Little Italy. There's tons of Italian shops here. So we're gonna meet up with Anthony and Adriana from Little Italy Tours, and they're gonna show us a bit more about how this neighborhood got founded. How's it going, Marco? Hey, Marco, very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you this girl. is Adriana. Hi, nice to meet you. Welcome to the Italian Quarter. We gotta start with coffee. Let's start with coffee. All right. We'll begin our adventure. Twenty-one years ago, there were bullet holes all in this wall here. No way. And this was the first place that was put here that started the redevelopment, Rinascimento, Renaissance, and this was the place that was the first. And no more bullet holes. Yeah, that's nice too. <laughs> Macchiato, pestre, mi piace, di collezione italiana. The key to the story of Little Italy San Diego is, as we say in Sicily, Doco si trova, yonder there one finds. It's the port. The Portuguese came first from Madeira. The Italians arrived 19th century. The first ones were from Genoa. They heard about this harbor. 1875, 65 Italian families. In 1900, the Senate Union reported that there were 116 Italian families. I came here in 1947, I was 15 years old. I started fishing in 1948. Years ago, tuna fishermen used to fish the tuna with the poles, one at a time. It didn't have to so many years. The laws they have in the United States about fish, the fishing fleet, they all left because they cannot afford to pay the expenses to pay whatever they were gonna pay. In Little Italy, the street art is not your normal modern street art. It's a little bit more classical. You gotta throw back to the Sistine Chapel. I had no idea that there was such a beautiful church with such amazing artwork right here in Little Italy. So if you ever get a chance, go check out the, uh, the paintings inside of Our Lady of the Rosary. Now we're in Amici Park. We're with Berto and John, who are two of the best bocce ball players here in town. So bocce ball is an Italian game. You throw a white ball down the end of this long dirt um, field, and then you try to get your ball as close as possible to the original white one. This is one of the best games in the world to argue about. Well, as you might know, Alex and I are brothers, so this seems like we have found our perfect game. We, will, we argue all the time until we're blue in the face, and we're gonna learn how to do it with a bit of technique. Ochi ball is super fun. I've played a little bit before on the beach, but I'm looking forward to taking Mark down right now. That's Alex winning. That's Mark. Okay, so Alex wins a petty victory. Normal, celebrate. Anyways, now we're gonna go for some lunch. Get a real nice Italian lunch. You ready for an Italian lunch, Alex? Well, you're buying because you lost. I hate this kid sometimes. Okay, so next up on our culinary exploration of Little Italy, we're going to a restaurant called Ben Cotto. It supposedly got some of the best pasta in California. Not only that, it also has the Q Award from the Italian government, which is only given out to a handful of restaurants in the States. It basically means they got Italian chef, Italian ingredients, and Q for quality. We're gonna meet with Fabrizio, who's the main chef. We're gonna go try some good pasta for lunch. Yum, yum. So we started this project, yes, uh, six years ago. Our menu is based basically on the pasta. What's your favorite, favorite pasta? Let's with in tagliatelle with uh, pink sauce and shrimp, banana squash ravioli, okay, and maybe a good tiramisu. Va bene, Va let's bene. do it. Just like my 
No, no, never made it. Wow. Also, one of the cool things about Little Italy is every Saturday they have a pretty famous farmer's market. So if you do decide to come visit here, make sure that you do it on the weekend, you do it on Saturday, and take a stroll through Little Italy's farmer's market. Now we're at the Waterfront Park, which is like an example of all the redevelopment that's been going through this neighborhood. Like I said, the Italian community has had a lot of changes in the last century. For a while, the future of the neighborhood was not really certain, but when they built Petco Park in downtown San Diego, that kind of spurred a wave of redevelopment throughout the whole city center, and we were right next to it here. So we're gonna go get ourselves an afternoon coffee and continue our exploration of this cool neighborhood. Sunglasses, and a fixed gear bicycle, and, and even furniture for your house all in the same place. I don't think you need much more. Really cool shop here. Thanks, thank you. Make sure to come back and get some, some skis. Definitely. Thanks. Yeah, good to see Cheers. you guys. Thank yeah, cool. thanks for coming. All right. So it is uh, it's beer time. It's about four o'clock now. And as you might know, San Diego's got tons of great craft breweries, but one of the best places to sample all of the beers in town is this place right here, Bottlecraft. It's uh, got about 25 beers on tap, and I think our buddy Robbie and his girlfriend Gisela, who lives here in the neighborhood, are gonna meet us, so. Sweet. What happened? Got my hand, mate, so from Mexico. Uh-oh. Well, we've seen some of the old, we've seen a little bit of the new, and it's time for dinner. Where are we headed? So we're heading to Bracero, which is the latest restaurant from Javier Placencia, a Tijuana-born chef who's part of this movement. It's a cross-border movement that's bringing San Diego and TJ closer together. So we're gonna go meet up with him and find out a bit more about the inspiration behind his latest restaurant. While we stuff our faces. Of course. Let's hit it. We just got to Bracero. I'm really digging the vibe here. Great feng shui. It's super open, but it's also really cozy. It smells amazing, and uh, I've gotten a glimpse of the kitchen. I'm excited to eat. What about you, bro? This has always been an immigrant community, and it's kind of shifting from Italian to now obviously influenced from Mexico, and Javier's signature style is called Baja Med, a combination of Baja California cuisine with a Mediterranean vibe. So he's gonna meet up with us in a bit. We just ordered two cocktails, mezcal and tequila based. This one's called No Mames. I'm not gonna translate that for you. And we'll see what he has to pull out from the kitchen. The term Bracero comes from the Bracero program where the United States made a program with Mexico to bring in labor workers. And uh, we took that name from, from that to honor those people that work those fields. And everything that we cook here is sourced locally, like farm to table. My mission with this restaurant is just building a, a better community throughout the chefs. And a lot of cooks and chefs are going to Tijuana to learn about what we're doing or learning about the or ingredients or, or wine valley. And a lot of our people over there are coming here to San Diego to see what these guys are cooking and to the craft beer scene. So we share a lot of ideas. Uh, we have the same goals, the same passion, and, and we share the same sound, the same motion. So. Well, we have had some cocktails. A bit of mezcal, but not too much. 
Everything is under control. I love now this Now we're gonna go to the waterfront, which is the oldest bar. It in is the oldest bar in San Diego. Guys, if you enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to Vaga Brothers for new travel videos every week. In the meantime, stay curious, keep exploring, and we'll see you guys on the road. Peace! Peace.